8.30 MKI. MKI stands for, uh, I is for Indian. The MK is the Russian designation for, uh, it was the SU-30M. That's the Russian designation for their newest fighter. The K means it's an export version, and I means it's for the Indians. These were version 5 airplanes. They had vector thrust, uh, canards. They had uh, all the advanced weapons that the, the Russians built to include the uh, Amramsky, if you will, their active radar missile, uh, and then their uh, 10 Delta, which is the IR missile that has a 30-mile range on it. We had them here. We also had them up at Mountain Home for two weeks. And a couple of things happened there. First off, we realized the Tomansky engines that are in those airplanes are uh, very susceptible to fog. Now, the reason that's a big deal is they have to take one minute spacing for takeoff. The Russian engines are, uh, are not nearly as reliable as, uh, as Americans. If you like to go on the computer and look at YouTube, there's a great demo that somebody's put together where they take the F-22 Raptor and they show it flying its demonstration and then they have the demo pilot for the SU-30 MK do its demonstration and it does the same exact demonstration as the F-22. Uh, and in an air show, they can do the same demonstration. The reality is, that's about as close as the airplanes ever get. We dominated. And we dominated not with a clean F-15, i.e. no wing tanks or any of that. We dominated with an F-15 and worked on configuration, i.e. four missiles on board, uh, wing tanks on board. Now the gas was out of the wing tanks. And they're sitting there in their SU-30s that are clean except for um, the a pylon that didn't have anything on it to carry an ACMI pod. Uh, they were amazed. They, matter of fact, they were floored to the point after the first three days they said, you know what, we don't need to do any more of this 1v1 stuff. <laughs> Let's move on to something else. Real quick on the airplane, vector thrust. And the Raptor that has a vector thrust, it's two-dimensional, but it works in the pitch mode. So when the airplane pulls the, and it gets past a certain uh, AOA, it, it's not an airspeed, it's an AOA limit, post-stall maneuvering, then the vector thrust kicks in and it drives the airplane around. In the SU-30, what it has, instead of having two-dimensional in the pitch, they have it on a V. So if you're looking at the, the rear end of the airplane, the thrust moves like this. And what that does is when they get, and they don't necessarily have to be post off maneuvering, they hit a switch on the stick and it kicks in vector thrust. So if the airplane's in a, in a, uh, in a scissors and he wants to go right, instead of kicking rudder, he kicks in the vector thrust and he puts the stick right and it takes the nozzle, since they're on a V, and it puts it over here and it pushes the airplane around. Now. While that sounds really good and it's great for a lot of thrust, what it does is it creates massive drag. It's a big airplane, a huge airplane. 